Look at the little baby. Now we'll get back to that baby in a minute. But first I want to show you the Trophius that we just moved inside two weeks ago. Now this was actually the group's third summer outside. So I've had these fish outside for three summers. I take them out there in the spring, put them in the 100 gallon tub, and then bring them when it starts getting cold. The nights are around, uh, I would say 65 degrees. I kind of watch for that, but I do have backup heaters and I've talked about that in previous videos. So the fish are looking real healthy. Didn't have any problems with the transition to the indoors from the outdoors. I just want to kind of go over this tank a little bit. The pH in this tank is 7.9 to 8.1. It sort of varies when I do water changes, but that's about it. And what's particularly neat about this is that it is a dirted tank. So four years ago, I set this tank up with uh, a layer of dirt, which was, I believe, potting soil, some dirt from the yard. And then I capped it with sand, put some jungle valve in it and kind of let it go. Eventually I put the Tropius in this tank and have had no problems. This tank is bulletproof really. I've never lost a fish that I've seen in this tank. So about the Tropius, they are vegetarians, giving them a little bit of a mixed flake, but that's not very often and they do real, real well. Now I'm not trying to breed these fish. They're more of just uh, fish that I love. And if you see down there, there's that baby from the beginning. And we'll try to get that in uh, a better frame. But I just wanted to give you an overall from the top view because these fish look really, really, really good. Now the tank is a little bit of cloud, cloudy and I could get some of those solids out, but I'm not worried about it. There's that little baby. And there are a few of these in here. It's just natural the the babies do do come out and when i see them and can catch them i'll move them to a different tank but i don't stress out about it but really i just want to show everybody that you can have a dirted tank and high ph fish like like tanganyikan fish they do well my opinion that live plants outweigh anything else you can do for your aquarium but thanks for watching and we'll see you next time